Hello folks, quick video um, about some SSDs today, doing some performance testing. I bought some SSDs, I had to buy some, so I bought a selection of SSDs. So, what did I buy? I bought a Crucial BX500, 500 gig, a Gigabyte 480, that cost me um, £55, 68 dollars yes 61 euros both of those two same price pretty much I also bought a Kingston a 400 we bought a lot of those that was 48 pounds only 59 dollars 54 euros and I've got a used sand disk to test 480 gig I had a rummage around the workshop as well. I also found a Micron M600 256 gig drive and a Samsung 850 Evo 250 gig. So what I thought I'd do is do some benchmarks on these. I'm performing these tests in my own rig at home. I've got a 2.5 inch a hot swap drive at the front onto a SATA 3 6 gigabyte motherboard. It's a Z170 motherboard by Asus. I've got an i7 6700, um, 16 gigs of um, DDR4 3200. So this is the test platform. It's not so it's going through this. It's not going directly onto the motherboard using SATA, but it is going through a tiny little controller board on the back of these. Does that affect it? I don't know. So these are my benchmarks on my system. This is exactly the sort of thing that you might want to, to um, upgrade your old system with by putting an SSD in on it, giving it a good speed up, assuming you're still on old spinning rust, that is. So we're going to get straight to the benchmarks. Hope you've enjoyed this quick, quick benchmarking. Thanks for watching. Benchmarks completed. Crucial, Gigabyte, Micron, Kingston, SanDisk, Samsung. All very similar. Pretty good, I think. Um, I'm a little bit disappointed in the Kingston A400, um, considering I've bought quite a few of those for cheap um, boot drives. The 4K uh, QDepth one, thread count one, is a bit low on here. The SanDisk is even lower, though. That is a used drive. This seems to be rather disappointing down here. You know, has it got a few problems with it? I'm not sure. But the Samsung 250 gig and the Micron performing very well. Not bad at all. Now, just to show you the difference between an SSD and old spinning disk, I've just done a Western Digital Black. Look at this. Look at this down here. I'm just going to put that onto the charts so you can see the dramatic difference that an SSD has on a system. Here is the headline grabbing um, read speeds. This is the ones that um, <clears throat> the um, manufacturers like to uh, advertise. Um, this is not uh, apparently real world performance according to uh, the benchmarkers and YouTubers. As you can see, they're all pretty much similar, but on the right hand side, the old spinning, old spinners. And the final chart is the 4K Q depth one, thread count one. This is closest to desktop workload performance, so I'm told. Now, there you are. The most noticeable thing here is that the Western Digital spinning disc it's almost not on the chart, it's so, so slow. So there you are, if you're in any doubt that an SSD boosts your system, there's the results, take your pick. Thanks for watching.